Oh yeah, check out that cutie patootie. Y'all ready to talk network marketing? Isn't she adorable? Oh, 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 oh. Come on, guys. It's time to get serious and talk business. Oh, yeah. My niece left this here. Okay? It's going to be the best day of your life, or at least the best scope of the night. Maybe. All right. Here's, my, here's the reason I'm wearing this, just for you. If this girl right here can grow up and be a successful network marketer, you can too. How about an amen for that? And the ponytail had a pretty bright future too. <laughs> <laughs> Check it. If this girl right here can grow up to be a successful network marketer, you can too. Hey, from Florida, Miss Palmateer. Yes, I did survive survive CrossFit this morning. Hey, Dempsey's. I know, the bow's kind of fun, huh? Yes, yes, amen, amen. All right, I want to know what was the task or action step you took today? Anyone? Task or action step that you took today? Oh, someone said we were frozen. Well... Oh, you're from Tennessee. Welcome. Washington, D.C., Canada, territory. Louisiana. Nice. Awesome. So I really want you guys, if you are a network marketer, an entrepreneur, a wannabe network marketer, a kind of network marketer, I want to know what action step you took today. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Lindsay. So let's see it. I haven't seen any action steps. Isn't it fun when you get red hearts? It sucks when you get the poop colored hearts. It's not very fun putting that. I got John Maxwell nice. books to read. Perfect. Okay. Anybody else's action step? 18 Whoa. care calls. Round nice. of applause for good Jay Fern Furhop. Met with a friend and have a new member. Wow. Good job, Lee. Emails read. Follow ups. Reading Circle of Success. Awesome. Talking team members down from the ledge. Filled okay. your calendar with events. There's my girl, Melissa Pepping. Y'all better click on Melissa Pepping right there and follow her. She's got great beauty tips. She's a fantastic network marketer, one of my, one of my mentors. She probably doesn't even know that I look up to her that much, but I do. Purple heart for her. Lindsay, got Gabby. a sign up nice. from a class. All right. Started talking with team members. Perfect. All right, so... If you missed the intro and you're just now coming in, I did have this bow in my hair like this because this was me, I think, in the third grade, second grade, something like that. And she grew up to be a pretty successful network marketer. So you can too. <laughs> so anyway, I, let's hear it. Q&A with DNA. We usually have a topic and we don't have one tonight. My name's Alana Bookout, and I am a professional network marketer. Network marketing changed our lives, and I'm here to inspire and motivate you to pursue and be successful in the network marketing field. After all, encouraging others is a passion of mine. My husband right here is Dustin. Hey, hey, my friends. He is my partner in life, in business, and on Periscope videos. How many hours do you put in each day? The joy of network marketing, it changes. I don't have a set schedule. I do the work when I want to, when I can, but um, I don't let allow my work to define you know, my day necessarily. I, I Like this morning, for example, here's an example for you. I woke up early this morning and did a lot of work on my computer, answering questions, sending out emails, and then my husband dragged me to CrossFit where I n like nearly died, but I didn't. And then we went to the pool and I got in my personal growth time where I read a little bit of John Maxwell out of his book, Invaluable Laws of Growth, which Y'all should see my desk right now. Totally threw up on itself. But anyway, um, I read this. Somebody's commenting about yes, your I do. Yes. Roman Atwood. Um, 
So yeah, and then I did a little bit more business this afternoon and here we are. So it was kind of a relaxed day. What is the best and most lucrative month for kit sales? Hmm, you know, that's a hard question. I've seen it change. I would say the best and worst, the best month is the month that you make it. This bump for that. And the worst month <laughs> is the worst is a month that you don't don't apply or yeah. try to go for it. I've seen I've seen that change uh, throughout the years. I've seen, you know, I think our my biggest personal for team a c couple years ago was in the month of July, and then other times summers are a little bit slower. So I don't really have an exact answer for you on that, but I, I like his answer. Anybody else like his answer? <laughs> yeah. So if you are new to Periscope, if you like what we are saying, if we make you laugh, if you agree with what we're saying. If you find us entertaining at all, if you like kombucha in wine glasses, tap the it screen. It tastes better in wine glasses for It some does. Reason. Tap the screen and give us lots of hearts that just shows us basically that you like us. It's a social currency for Periscope per se, which just gives us street cred. And we really like street <laughs> cred a lot. Booyah. All right. Uh, also, follow this guy right here. Pick on the little... Um, what is this? A little man. Click on that. Make sure you're following us if you would like to get some motivation, some inspiration, some business tips. My platform is all about network marketing. So if you are not a network marketer or a network marketing wannabe or desire to ever pursue network marketing, you might just like our pure craziness. That's it. That's all I got to offer you. You don't know how to give a heart. Tap right, your Melissa, screen. Melissa, just tap the screen. and you, you, Tap, tap, tap around. And your hearts are going to be pink or purple. Yours are purple. Let's see purple hearts. I see purple hearts. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. Tap, tap, tap a -roo. All right, next question. Someone uh, asked a question earlier. Are our families supportive in, in what, with, with what we do? Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. They're all a little bit involved in some little tiny way in our business as well I mean I mean we have family members who have joined us and are pursuing the business as well and and family members who purely just love the product and other family members who are just supportive of you know this this path this business that we have journeyed into and are going to continue to do they've seen how much it's changed our life and our future so they're totally supportive yeah, yeah. absolutely Smile more. Yes. yes. Our, <laughs> our Smile son more. always is saying that to everybody. Smile more. <laughs> you know, just like Roman Atwood. Roman Atwood is a He's video a, a vlogger. A vlogger, video blogger, basically. And they're just waste of your time videos that you watch. But that's kind of like that's my fun. husband and my kids yeah. watch that every day. And it's just their entertainment. So, okay, we're here. We're changing the world. Tap, 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 and ask a question. Changing the world one at a time. I like that. How are you connecting your Periscopes with your Twitter? So when you set up your Periscope, if you are setting up an account through a phone number, it, I don't know that it's as easy to do. But if you set up a Twitter account, and then when you create your Periscope account, connect it with Twitter. And then whenever you go to br make a broadcast, there is the little Tweety Bird that you can click on to make sure that your broadcast is actually posted on your Twitter account. You just enrolled nice. someone while on this. Round of applause for Tony B. Click. Give Tony some hearts. Absolutely. And there's the Dempsey's right there. These, you gotta click on them and follow them. They're awesome. How are you balancing work with motherhood? It's a struggle. The struggle is real sometimes. What's awesome, again, is it's time freedom and financial freedom. So when I know that you know I'm needing some family time, I'm able to set work aside and do that. But the balance is, the it's always a struggle. And I don't think we'll ever achieve full balance. We're always you know neglecting an area more than we want to or spending too much time in another area more than we should. And so it's a constant... I just have to be aware of it. Yeah. I think staying aware of of the time you're spending away from your family or working, as long as you're aware of it, it's a lot easier to balance. But if you get so consumed that you don't even realize that your family's in this under the same roof as you, then you get you might you might need to 
to check yourself. Check yourself. <laughs> Megan just asked a great question. What do you do with the dun 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 pyramid scheme words? I love when somebody asks oh, me about pyramid scheme. Believe it or not, for the past, like, prior to whenever I was able to come home and help my wife, I was in a pyramid scheme. It's called corporate America. <laughs> Preach it! <laughs> You know, it's, so I, yeah, true. it's very true. You have Think your CEO and then you have all your executives and then all the lower level just goes on out. But there's no way of moving up that pyramid. Preach it. Hashtag preach it. Yeah. He is telling you the truth. Think of any organization. It doesn't matter if it's Boy Scouts, if it's churches, if it's schools, if it is a big, huge corporation. All of them are more pyramid like than ours than network marketing. Hashtag preach it. <laughs> yeah. So when somebody says to you pyramid scheme, ask them why they think that it's a pyramid scheme. What makes them think it's a pyramid scheme? Then ask them what they do. Where do they work or where does their spouse work? Uh, do they go to church? Ask them any of that and then you can break it down just like he did. Okay, so you're telling me you're, you're um, you know, you are, what's an example? You are a receptionist, for instance, at a bank. Okay, so the bank has a CEO, vice president, then executives, then other big wigs, management, management, and then hourly, and then you've got the receptionist. Okay, so you ask that person, what is the likelihood that you will ever have the opportunity to climb to the top and the executives or, you know, even the CEO, what's the likelihood of that? Not very likely, but in network marketing, the awesome thing is it you really can climb. It really shouldn't be called corporate ladder. It should be called corporate pyramid scheme. <laughs> it should. You can climb as high as you want. That's the great thing with network marketing. When you are a receptionist or a teacher or he ran health clubs before or a management, I mean, whatever it is, you if you work harder, you might get a little bit of a raise, but there's always a glass ce- ceiling. And with network marketing, you can climb as high as you want, as fast as you want, depending on your uh, dedication, your determination, and your application. Yeah, and what's kind of weird is um, my wife says I used to run health clubs, and so I, when I would run health clubs, we would have a, a once-a-month meeting where we would go in and we'd meet with the owner, we'd meet with the vice president and all that, and the owner would always say, you guys are helping me achieve my dream. And it, 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 it didn't really resonate with me until I left left that job and come home with my wife that I was helping him achieve his dreams. Right. And I wasn't getting to have any of my dreams because I was working so many hours that I never even got to see my family. Right. You know, and it, it, it really, it's crazy to, when you think about it that so many people are caught up and are helping the owners of companies, the CEOs, achieve their dreams but not their own dreams. Yeah, okay, so here's a little tidbit from Alana, and that is when you read books, and if you're, if you're a network marketer or you want to be a successful network marketer and you're not reading books, epic fail. Where's my epic fail? I printed that out earlier. Epic fail for you. I don't even know where that is. Okay, imagine my epic your desk fail. Threw up on it. I know, it really did. I should show you on my desk. This is what no, happened. No, she shouldn't. Anyway, back to, back to business. When you're reading books, because I know you are all reading network marketing and personal growth books, right? So I've been reading this book right here, John Maxwell's 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. And whenever I read a book, I always like the book book. I'm not a big, huge reader on a screen, and if you are, that's fine. But my trick is when you, you know, when you're reading your book and you can highlight and tab like I've done, I just scribble all over my books. If there's a quote that I really like, I write it down in these, um, the blank pages that there's always some blank pages in the book. So while he was just saying that about his boss saying, y'all are helping me, uh, what did you say? We're helping him achieve his his dream. So this was a quote I actually wrote down today. And when he said that, I remembered If you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's plan. And guess what they may have planned for you? Not much. (laughs) So there you go. That was a quote by Jim Rohn that was posted or written in John Maxwell's book. Well, they got a lot planned for you, a lot of hours to work. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. 
so they can buy their new cars and get their new houses all while you are working your hiney tail off and you will never grow to that position. Favorite opening conversation. Favorite opening conversation. Uh, I will say that. I like that question. What's it like being married to a successful, smart, and hot wife? It's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> he had no idea that this right here would turn into this right here. Oh, yeah. 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 He totally, he married up right there. I married her for the ponytail. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. The side ponytail at that. So favorite opening conversations. I, here's what y'all are missing. You see this photo? Look at the shirt. <laughs> I mean, look at this shirt right here. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can really see the that. I the 80s. I mean, that's like paint splattered, hearts, <laughs> but the pony matches. Oh, yeah. It was awesome back in those days. Um, so favorite opening conversation, just, and I do say a lot of you are in our company, but I like to keep this as. She wanted hearts before Periscope. I like that. I That is so... She got this one right here. <laughs> I like to keep this a pretty generalized network marketing topic um, just because there are so many people out there that are not in our company and I want to encourage and motivate them to continue to pursue their network marketing uh, business as well. What was that one? How old are we? How old are we? How old do you think we are? Put Ooh, up some guesses. That's a good question. Oh, How yeah. Let's think cheer to that. We, we may have some age-defining tips for how, yes. Where is our next homeschooling trip going to be? We're actually going to Haiti in November for a missions trip. 43, I like that answer. <laughs> 25, wow, oily mom. They're pretty close. 32 to 37, that's good. Okay. You got, you got, you got all, the 30s are very close. We are in our... I'm 43. I'm, and he's I'm 62. <laughs> no, no um, I'm 34. And Alana is? Still young. Roll. Still young. Counting backwards. That's what she is. Yeah. He's, he's, you're 34. Yes, that's right. He just had a birthday. And then I am still, how old am I still? I am still 31. Right? Yes. Do y'all ever lose track of your birthdays like I do? Yes. Funny, you grabbed those numbers, 41 and hubby is saying, really? That's awesome. <laughs> that <laughs> yeah, okay, so back to the question. I can't believe I still remember this. Somebody said, what is your favorite opener? How do you talk to people? You know, how do you open up? So just remember, people love to talk about... What do people love oh, to talk themselves. about? They love themselves. They love to talk about themselves. Themselves. So the best thing you can do is open up a conversation asking basic questions, like especially if it's people you don't know. What is their name? What do they do? Um, where do they live? Like if, whether you're meeting them at a park, a playground, the airplane, wherever. Ask them questions about themselves so that later that can be an opportunity. So as, as far as just opening... I mean, that's what I do. I let them talk their ear off. I continue to ask them open-ended questions. I continue to ask them about themselves and build that relationship first. I never dive into our product or my company, nothing. They're going to ask you questions in return, like, oh, and what do you do? And that's mm -hmm. where you can step in and say something. But still, don't harp on that. Continue to get to know them more, and right. they will feel a connection to you. And you're going to find out stuff that you probably don't want to know about. That they some people just vomit so much information. Yeah. They're like, you shouldn't have said that. But, yeah. But you know, you just don't make a face when they say that. Don't go. Yeah. Uh, just smile and nod. Smile, smile and nod. nod. <laughs> <laughs> do you say you're a network marketer? I do say I am a network marketing. I'm in network marketing now. If somebody is asking me what I do when I'm out and about, a lot of times I say that we are entrepreneurs. Sometimes I mention network marketing, sometimes I don't, but I like to really say that we educate others on health and how to, um, it kind of depends actually, depending on who I'm talking with, because sometimes I can tell that I really need to stay on the education of health, and other times I feel like I can talk more about how we educate others to be successful in our business, in this business field. Entrepreneur, yeah, definitely entrepreneur, I like that word a lot. 
Yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am stands out. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I love all these hearts. Y'all are doing amazing. Heart attack, heart <laughs> off, heart a thon. How many other heart words can we come up with? Our elevator speech. Hmm. This is something I honestly need to work on a little bit more. Uh, Number one rule don't pass gas in the elevator. No, I'm just joking. Y'all, we have an we have this like tower fan that my husband just bought and this is totally off topic squirrel moment. Nothing to do with network marketing except for the fact that my husband just mentioned gas. But my son, my 8-year-old just said before we put him to bed, "Mom, so the air sucks in through the back and then blows out through the front?" And I was like, "Yeah." So he goes around to the back and was like, "What if I fart in it?" I'm like, "Great. This is how I yeah. live with boys." We have two boys. Two boys and, and she's the she's the, the lone female. I am. It's crazy. <laughs> Craziness. Okay. I'm sure I've missed right, other back questions. On, back on point. Mm -hmm. If y'all don't know what this is, my husband and I trying to be more health conscious. We gave up alcohol along with every other type of thing you can give up, including sugar and dairy and all the good stuff. And so I have to drink everything in a wine glass. Everything tastes better in a wine glass. So this Even is kombucha. <laughs> Time to try for a girl. No, no, it's not. It's not <laughs> time to try for a girl. And Plexus, Chris, I appreciate that, but this is not a place to promote your product. This is a place for us all to learn and uh, talk marketing. about ni network marketing. You bought some today. Awesome, Karen. That is great. Dustin said he doesn't sell, but refers. Absolutely. We never sell a product. I don't think I have ever sold a product. We do not keep inventory. We do not try to make a sale. What we do is educate others about our products, and we totally talk referrals. That's it. We do both stay home, yes. We both stay at home. Mm -hmm. All the time. All the time. We have a desk right here that faces each other, so he works on his computer. I work on mine, and it's just kind of fun that way. How do you refer people? So our company is a referral-based company, meaning that we get commissions anytime we refer somebody to the company and they can get their own account. So whenever that happens, we give them our member number and then we get credit for that referral. So basically what we do is we educate others on the product and allow them the information on how they can to join for the product. Our company is product led, which is very different than the majority of network marketing companies out there. Um, but it's just the way that, that it's done in our company and it works for our company. So that's the way we do it. Although I think that there, there are really great people out there. For instance, Sarah Robbins has a book, Rock Your Network Marketing Business, and she talks about the pros of being business led so that you can introduce somebody to the business side and if they're not interested in the business side, you can fall back on the product. And so at least you have two opportunities to hear a yes from them. Although I think that is fantastic and I think that's a really good point, in our company I find that uh, people, 92% of the people in our company are product users and do not get paid and do not have a rank. Uh, so it, it speaks volumes for the fact that people just really fall in love with the product first. So that's the way that our team has done it and many other teams is just continue to drive the product and the business side comes along with that. So, hey, 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 our product rocks. Please repeat, Sarah Rockin' Robbins. Can you get that book? Her book is in that drawer right there. How can someone contact us through a Periscope video? So Periscope is fantastic for network marketers. By the way, if you have not followed me, click on this guy right here and follow. You can see my video that I did earlier today about Periscope tips and why you as a network marketer need to get on Periscope. One of the tips that I listed was that when you're speaking about your product, if you want to talk products, if you want to talk business side, if you want to talk network, network marketing in general, you can give your website posted in your description or send people to your website or other social media platforms. My website, I took my website down and I'm having it redone. So I can't really utilize that tip right now. Here is Sarah Rockin' Robbins. Go ahead and screenshot that if you need to. 
This is a mentor of mine right here, Sarah Robbins. She works for a, another network marketing company and is highly successful. She is their top earner in that company. And she gives really great, it's a short book. She gives really great advice throughout this book. Um, easy to read. You can apply a lot of things right here. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Okay, what do you do when someone wants to try a product without signing up? So that's up to you. That's up to you and any company that's that's out there, you can decide if you want to sample things out or not. Sometimes I sample things out. It depends who it is. If it's a friend of mine, there are times that I have done that, but the fact of the matter is our products work. And if you are in a network marketing company, I would hope that you would agree that your products work. I would hope that you would believe that. So it's easy for me to just tell them it works. The value is there. Like it's, it's something they just need to try. But there have been times that I've sampled things out. And I think that's a case by case basis. It's not something that I teach to do. But I think that it's up to you as to if that's going to help benefit you and your organization and that particular person. And yes, I agree with that. Samples get you customers, but I want members. I want members to my group. And when you give somebody a sample, I'm limiting them to that one product. So I really like to educate others and get them hooked onto just the premium kit and the, the starter kit basically. So that's the way that we do it. I love these hearts. I do. I do. We need to sing a song or something. Sing a song. If samples have worked for you so far, hasn't worked for me very, for me too well. Yeah. I, yeah, I just, I'm not a huge sample giver. There has been a few times where somebody has been in need of the product and I will just say, you've got 24 hours. Like I'll come pick this back up, try it out. There's been that. I like this question. Do you use business cards? And if so, where do you buy them? Business cards. What do you do with a business card when someone preach gives it. you a I'm business card? I'm going to sit card? back and let my man preach So if, if, if someone gives you a business card, what do you normally do with that? Somebody answer someone and let answer. us know. This is always delayed. Stick, Stick it in, in wallet. wallet. Toss. toss. Heather says toss. Throw, Throw it, it away. away. Julie trash says it. trash Glance. it. Glance and trash. Put it in my purse. Okay. Megan, how crowded is your purse? <laughs> Put okay. it in my purse and never look at it again. Okay, so th that's that's kind of my, my own personal philosophy behind business cards. Now, that's why you, it's really more important to get contact information, exchange numbers, exchange, exchange names and numbers, because you're more likely to talk to that person whenever it becomes more personal. When, now, I mean, some people give people fake numbers. Now, it's not a perfect world, but business cards, I don't really think they're that effective. Now, I do maybe recommend business cards if you're going to a professional network marketing event such as Mastermind. Mm -hmm. That's when you want to travel with business cards because you're exchanging information with other business builders or business yeah. leaders within the, the network marketing business. Mm -hmm. um, and now, we haven't done that quite yet, so, if, I mean... We're, we're in the process of, I mean, she's, she's I really, have business cards, yeah. but they're, they've we're, got we're, my we're, old we're information gonna change, on We're going to be changing that. Yeah. So here's, here's what you can do instead. You can certainly have a business card, but know that when you hand out a business card, chances are that's not going to get you any return off of that. People throw them away as you just saw all that, or they lose them in their purse, their Mary Poppins purse, you right? So instead, get their information. I do this all the time, whether I'm on an airplane plane wherever I am I just did it on an airplane I whenever that was last week or the week before and so at, just get to know them have a good conversation with them and say I'd love to keep you know connected with you I'd love to keep in contact with you I really enjoyed our conversation and I hope we can talk again and this is without me necessarily saying anything about my business so I'll ask them are you on Facebook can we connect on Facebook boom instant audience member for until you know they choose not to be so if you can get them onto your Facebook or if you can say hey what's your email what's your phone number and stay in contact with them that way especially Facebook and let me tell you why if you get their phone number or their email sometimes they could give you the wrong one 
Sometimes you can contact them and they may never call you back. But if y'all become friends, and I mean come friends right then, like y'all get out your phones. We did this right when we landed. I asked if they had a Facebook account and we became friends right then. So that person, even if they never answer my call or never return my call, they're now in my audience. So anything that I say, um, if I sprinkle in my company stuff from time to time on my personal page, or if I reach out to them that way, that just seems to be like a, a better way to communicate sometimes just before you get to really know somebody. So instead of giving them your business card, either ask for their business card or get connected right away via Facebook or get their phone number or email. Bam. Someone Shotgun. asked if you have a business Facebook or a personal Facebook. I have a business Facebook page. I have a business Facebook group for my team members only. And I also have a product group for my team members only. How do you get people to show up to your classes? So this is a question we get all the time. How are you asking these people to show up to your classes? I'll tell you one of my biggest pet peeves is when people get online, especially through Facebook, and sometimes even like Eventbrite and Evites, and they just invite you, okay? Especially on Facebook when you get like all of these um, events that pop up that you're invited to, but there's no connection there, there's no real communication. So if you're going to invite somebody, pick up the phone, pick it up. Everybody has this in their hand like throughout the day. We're addicted to our phones. Pick up the phone, and call them and tell them you really want them to be your guest. The next thing I will say is if you have a class and say everybody cancels except for one person or two people, do not get discouraged. You embrace those one or two people and you just pour into them, get to know them, tell them everything you are going to do in your class because you never know that one person could be, you know, your game changer for your business. They could just fly to the next, who, who knows what I'm trying to say. They could just fly to the next rank and you never even saw it coming. I cannot stand when business builders cancel because everybody's canceling except for one or two people. Well, that could be your game changer. They're ready to know and you need to pour into them. Yep, that one person could be your builder. Very true. So true. He is chugging the kombucha. I love chugging it. Chugging it. I challenge y'all all to get out a wine glass tomorrow and just put water in it, put <laughs> milk in it, put kombucha in it. It just tastes better. It really does. You'll want to be like us and be network marketing wine professionals. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Where do you get that drink? You can get it pretty much at any grocery stores are now carrying that. When I was about seven, my parents used to make their own kombucha before I had ever heard of that. In fact, I thought they were quite crazy, crazy, crazy. And now it's become a thing. It was, anyway, it's a probiotic drink, basically. Um, do you think Facebook classes are worth doing? Absolutely. I think it's a great platform, but a lot of people are doing them, and they're doing them wrong because what I said before is they're just, Someone put some information on there about kombucha. Tell me about this kombucha on tap location, please. Hmm, didn't know about that. Uh, but they're doing it wrong when they're just, they're making an event on Facebook and they invite their entire friend list uh, or they just dump people into the event or invite them without reaching out to them. And if you are scared to pick up the phone or if you don't have that person's phone number, at least send them a private message and just say, I would really like for you to join us. I thought about you because this is what we're going to be discussing. And I think it would be really beneficial for you. You know, at least just make that connection there because otherwise you feel spammed. Don't you feel spammed when people just throw you into all that stuff? Munzee's Market. In the square, okay. Miss Star Marie, this is your first day on Periscope. That's awesome. How many people are new to Periscope within the last couple days, last two or three days? Do I teach business classes for my builders? Yes. I teach them on all different types of topics. I have lots of 
we got to keep it cute. Otherwise, it gets boring. I have lots of folders like this where it's just file folders and I have different, just different topics on classes I've taught. I just stick them in there. I want to welcome everyone who is new who said me, 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 hands up in the air. That's awesome. Welcome to Periscope. If you're unfamiliar how to use it, real quick, just again, you got hearts over here. You tap the screen to get hearts. Uh, if you're not following us, just go down to this little man. I think Alana says is right here. Yep. Uh, tap on that person and follow my wife, myself. Um, we try to get on here every day and, and give you guys some words of wisdom or a laugh at least. Yeah. So. Sometimes we get crazy up in here. Uh, one of the questions was about an upline, although I didn't get to read the whole thing. If you knew, but this is third or fourth of both your videos, I have a lot. Oh, thank you, Megan. So I appreciate swipe that. Swipe right to, to share. I'm sorry. You hate teaching classes, Connie. Okay. So here's a question for you. Is it, is it because you get nervous in front of large crowds or do you have the same do you feel like you have the same experience when you share one-on-one -on -one with somebody? Sometimes when I'm talking to new builders who are trying to figure out if they should muster up the courage to teach a class and what should I do and they get so nervous, well, I often say, you know, people want to see, they want you, the real you, not this nervous, like, I'm not sure how I'm doing this. So if you were to be telling your best friend about these products, whatever your product is, and you love this product and you think they would benefit from it, try to recreate that when you're talking. Oops. You have it and it makes you forget things. Okay. Well, how can you, how can you get a, how can you be successful and get around that. Leaders are always trying to think of ways that they can overcome things. So with you, would it help for you to have notes, bullet points that you can keep, you know, looking down on so that you can overcome the forgetfulness and the stumbling, like you said. Do something, figure out what that would be, and you've got to overcome your fear. Action kills fear. We all have fear. Um, I would say that we're successful leaders and our you know, in our network marketing People are, rec are recommending PowerPoints. I think PowerPoints Point. is great or, mm -hmm. or great as well. Yeah. Uh, so we all, there are no such thing as a fearless leader. And if that is a fear of yours, you need to overcome that fear. And the only way to overcome that fear is to choose action. So figure out a good system or a good way for you to share. And then just get the courage and overcome it. Someone said, is it okay to keep calling people over and over to invite them to a class? Sorry, I, I totally, <laughs> um, what did you say? I don't, I don't know, and I'm reading now. Sorry. I know, it just comes by so fast. I think it gets delayed sometimes, and then you get like 10 at one time, and it's hard okay, to read them. Okay, there was a question about my Periscope earlier today. So what we found in the underwater Periscope yeah. is that when you go underwater, you lose connection to Periscope. Hashtag fail. Hashtag Periscope fail. So yeah. some, something I don't know. I don't know if it's um, I don't know if it's my my cell phone provider. I don't know if it's Periscope. I don't know. But when we we went underwater, it completely stopped. I'm sorry, y'all. We did take some really cool underwater videos just on my personal my personal phone that we watched. It was a lot of fun. Yes, I have a waterproof case on my on my iPhone. It's called Life Proof. Um, so. I was trying to find... We can throw it in the water and it'll, it, it's okay. I mean, this says, was like... It says your replay is freezing as well. Uh, we had so many videos like that. It was really fun. But then we couldn't broadcast it live on Periscope. We will be... Our convention for our company is coming up. We will be... I will be at session A and most likely session B. So pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Y'all ready for a quote just to change things up? I have lists and lists and lists of quotes. They're on my board. They're on my calendar. I have quotes everywhere. So I want to give you a quote. What? I said, yeah. Yeah, they're everywhere <laughs> on my desk, on post-it notes. Are you teaching and, at A? No, I am not teaching. Please. A powerful invitation. It depends what you're teaching. It's hard to give a blanket answer to that. It depends what you're teaching. 
So I posted this on Instagram a couple weeks ago. The dream is free, but the hustle is sold separately. How many of you have a dream to be successful in network marketing and you have a desire to be successful in network marketing so that you can have residual income and enjoy time, freedom, and financial freedom, but are you hustling? Yeah, our, my, my Periscope that I did earlier was freezing, yes. Yeah. Underwater Periscope does not work well with the Periscope network. Yeah, totally doesn't. But are you a hustler? Are you choosing to do action or are you just thinking about... Hashtag preach. Are you just thinking about that dream? So I'm going to say that one more time. The dream is free, but the hustle is sold separately. Hustling. Love it, Trisha. Every day I'm hustling. If you are new to just joining us right now, I am Alana Bookout. This is Dustin Bookout, my husband. And we love to inspire and motivate others in the network marketing profession. Totally changed our lives. So click on this person right here if you would like pretty frequent inspiration, motivation, application for your business. How many classes a week did you have when you got serious? It's hard to say because that... Um, Gosh, it changes from month to month. So I would say in the beginning, I had a good, I don't know, five to 15 classes per month, I would say. Now my classes, so those were all product-based at the time. Now the majority of my classes are business-based. So I teach a lot of business classes at this point because I, I, am, I love our product. And I will talk to people about our product all day long. But I am super passionate about teaching people about the business side because I know what it's done for our family. And I can't wait to help others you know, pursue that as well. And it's really fun when our team members get to a place where it really changes their life. So it's awesome. Okay, so the question is, how do we have that many classes? Um, th those, mo most of those, or a majority of those, were not personal classes for our personal enrollments. Correct. They were either classes that, that, that were follow-up, like what's next classes, after you get the product, what's next. They were classes for members in our downline, and what's next classes for them them as well. So there are there it wasn't always just for personal enrollments. I mean we right. were, you when you help your team grow, I mean you're helping people in your downline as well, so you want to support right. them. I'm looking this up because somebody asked how many team members have we personally enrolled and what is the size of our team? now and i'm fine with sharing that information the percent you're gonna you guys are gonna be blown away when we give you the percentage right okay so we da, da, da. if you are in our company you need to make sure you get oily stats oily i mean sorry oily tools <laughs> i'm looking at the stats right now all right we have a team size of just under twelve thousand. I have personally enrolled about 80, I believe. So do the math on that. Somebody do the math. If I have, or you do the math, because you these people are on their phone probably. So let's see. Unless somebody's going to do the math. Uh, is anybody doing the math yet? Yes, 12,000. So that means we have personally enrolled 0.6% of our group, okay? So this is where it gets really important. It does not matter about who you know as much as it matters about who your people know. So yes, I signed up approximately 80 people. I don't have the exact number, but I know it's not 100. Not 0 .06, 0 .6. Which is, still, which is still a small number. Yeah. Um, unless I did the math wrong on that. Pretty sure I didn't. But yeah, uh, yeah so 0.6% of the people that are on our team were people I enrolled. Other than that, it's all the people they enrolled. So that's what's really awesome. When he said that it wasn't... Um, it's crazy that that many people fall for it. Well, it's not crap. So... You know, there you have that. Otherwise, 92% of our company's users are just product users. They never get a check. And if 92% of the product users continue to buy the product, pretty sure it's not crap. So just a thought. 
All right, living proof, yes. Not crap, dude. Mm-hmm. And just so you know, if you say mean things on here, you get blocked, -y dude. Blocked, -y dude. Okay. You started sharing four years ago. Well. I got into the product and loved the product and I was adamantly opposed to MLMs and network marketing. And I think that's sad because there's a stereotype out there that network marketers, you know, are snake oil salesmen and they're just pyramid schemes and all those bad stereotypes. And I just kind of fell into that. Although I didn't really know much about network marketing, I just went along with the masses and thought that they were horrible people too. But I fell in love with the product and it was a year and a half later, almost two years later, that I decided that this was actually something I really needed to share. I wish that somebody would have shared with me earlier, years ago, because I know that it has benefited our family so much. I wish that they would have shared it, you know, years ago for me. So I was on a mission to help others. If you are focused on making money, not a good place to be. Instead of that, I am totally focused on helping others product side and business side and the business side will come so have I missed anything awesome y'all ready for the next quote or is there another question I'm sure about the time you start you find a quote questions are going to pop up. <laughs> you're welcome basket case and that is about the cutest name I've seen on Periscope yeah it is are you a yellow I'm a yellow blue if you have not taken the the um, color personality quiz. There's red, green, blue, and yellow. He is red and green. I am blue and yellow. <laughs> so totally works. Okay. I got to find one. You keep I'm looking. talking here. Oh. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got, I've, I've got so many to choose from. I'm trying to give y'all some awesome ones. Ooh, here's a good one. Don't you like that? We're like frozen. Pretend like we're frozen. <laughs> what is Dustin? He is he's red and green. Oh yeah. Red and green. And I am blue and yellow. I was like, I'm human. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a colors personality quiz. Does anybody know what it's uh, or a test? Does anybody know what it's called? I can't remember. If you know what it's called or have the website, will you post it here so everybody can see? The color quiz. All right, and while y'all are doing that, red squares unite. No, Cindy. No. Mm -mm. Squiggly circles that are blue and yellow, that's where it rocks. Okay, how many of you get so down when you have a failure moment or a rejection or a setback? And you get so down and you let it, like you allow it to affect you. So this is a quote that I, or, that I absolutely love. Giving up on a goal because of a setback is like slashing your other three tires because you got a flat. And I love that because so many people just totally... You know, just they throw away their momentum. They throw away their, um, all, even just their daily action because they get so down about one setback. You've got three other tires that are perfect. Don't slash them all. You guys, people trying to make a quick dollar. Yeah. See you later. Blocked. <laughs> I'm not afraid to use my blocking finger. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not scared. Mm -mm. Do, do I get hearts for blocking that guy? Clearly, he's not on the right periscope. And I don't understand. Do they not have anything better to do with their time, like total trolls? If there are any other trolls, just go ahead and speak up now so we can block you. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, blocked. Line of products. We are in the essential oils field. And health and wellness, supplements, awesome products. Oh, you blocked him already. Mm -hmm. Get the spare. I love it. Failure is an event, not a person. Preach it, Mike. High five. That was awesome. Hashtag blocking finger. <laughs> I know. I like it. I like it a lot. Do y'all have questions? Any other questions? Should we call it in the night? Do y'all want another quote? I don't know how, how do you search topics. On Even Facebook? when you search, I believe when you go and you search, uh, anytime you do network marketing or family, people will come up. It should search um, the fields in there. If I'm wrong, let me know, but I have done. 
Live in true color is a color quiz. Okay, awesome, Dana. Thank Someone you. Someone asked how to block on a on an Android. I believe it's the same for every phone. You click on the person who is typed and it click on their their comment or their name, mm -hmm. and it should pop up, and you just click block. So here's if you're new to Periscope and you see these comments, click. Uh, come up. Sometimes people have a question. If you know their answer, click on the person's comment and then a screen will pop up and will allow you to block that person, will allow you to reply to that person, which is really awesome because if somebody's asking a question, you can reply to them and it will tag them in it. So that's a pretty cool tip -a for you. So... Mark has set up. That's right. That's the one You've we did. You typed that so many times that I was like, what is she talking about? <laughs> I got you. Yes. Thank you, Megan. Thank you. Does it block them forever? Yes. When I block them, when I block them from this, it blocks them from my whole account. I believe as the broadcaster, if anybody, um, if anybody is saying anything and I block that person, they can't comment at all in my broadcast. However, if you block the person, but I don't, they can still keep commenting. So just so you know, that little feature. Cool, Amber Cross, awesome. So another quote, another question, or calling it a night, we're gonna let you decide. Who else do you recommend following on Periscope? I'm new and also MLM. All right, Christy Dempsey uh, or the, the, Dempsey's, the Dempsey's. Are they the Dempsey's? Are y'all still on here? If you are, comment so they can follow you. It depends what you are looking for. If you're looking for network marketing tips and advice, I would definitely follow people like um, on Android. You just click on their their name. Or click on that comment if you want to reply to someone, and it should pop up that says block, reply, see profile, click on uh, reply, and it should just automatically pop up there. Yeah, I think that's great. That's his goal, Deanna. Yes, that is my goal, Deanna. Um, we did a little bit today. We're just doing some trial runs just kind of see what people like on there. But, yeah, we're going to try to do it uh, very, very frequently on there. Yeah. Adam Green. Adam Green is very good. If you're uh, on Periscope, please follow him uh, within our company, Dr. Jim Bob. He, he's just great altogether. Uh, he teaches mm -hmm. about health and wellness across the board. If you're looking for network marketers, look up people like Randy Gage. Um, I know he's been doing a lot of network marketing stuff. Um, I just went blank on his name. Shoot. I watched his Periscope today. I'll come, I'll think of it, I'll think of it. But look up all the big named people. Eric, and Eric Worry. Eric Worry. Does he do periscopes? I'm not sure I've, I've seen. I've followed him, but he has not done a periscope I don't think yet. he's been doing periscopes. Um, oh, that's going to kill me if I can't think of his name right now. Jacob Admiral, I haven't. Huh? Shoot. And I, oh, you know what? I have it in here, I think. Would you recommend doing yeah. a product class on Periscope? Yes, absolutely. Uh, as long as you stay in compliance for your company, I think that would be great. Choose a, a platform for your Periscope. So if you want to be product, all about your company's product, then teach about the product. If you want to teach about the business side, teach about the business side or join the two. But make sure that your Periscope platform is very clear. If you are doing a bunch of hodgepodge videos. Maybe it's just you're just wanting to entertain people and that's fine too. But people are going to follow. Are y'all following? Who's following? Raise your hand if you're following us. Um, if people are following you, they want to come back. They want to know that their time isn't going to be wasted when they come and watch your Periscope. So the majority of all of ours have been network marketing tips, tricks, advice, inspiration. Now, have you shared what, because you've got followers, so do us a favor. How do you like that? Those are my six favorite words. Will you do me a favor? So will you do me a favor and swipe your screen and go ahead and share this so it can share on your Twitter account or it can share with other people that are followers of you. That way they know they can come learn some awesome information here that is network marketing advice across the board regardless of the company that you're in. That's pretty cool, don't you think? It's pretty cool. Yeah, I would say that's, yeah. that's darn cool. I'm waiting for somebody to share. It's going to pop up and tell me, and I'm going to be so excited. Mm -hmm. At least I think it does. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Again, we're still pretty new as well. 
Do you have any advice as a spouse to help support my wife? Yes, I'm going to let him. Oh, you shared. Why does it come up? I thought it was going to say that it shared. Um, the Maybe best advice I can give anyone whose spouse is coming on board to help out, communication. You guys need to communicate left and right because you're your business partners. If you guys are in this together, you're business partners, and you got to communicate uh, to see how you can uh, work your way into her business. You know I mean? Because a lot of the time, for example, Atlanta built this business with me working ridiculous hours. She started this business without me. So I've had to come in and kind of work my way in. You can't just come in and knock her out of the way and, and think, oh, I'm going to do it my way because my way is right and her way is not. Wrong. Obviously, if she's done something right, you need to come in or I had to come in and learn and kind of figure out and feel out the way that would best work for us. And whatever works for us is not going to work best for you or it may, it might or might not. Um, she loves sharing the product. She loves helping people out. She loves encouraging, motivating people. I'll go back behind the scenes and do all the, you know, the... The stuff I hate. The tax stuff, the number stuff, oh. just anything that she, she doesn't like doing, mm -hmm. which, is, which is really good because our personality types are very different and our... our our work ethic, not work ethic, our work, what, the type of work we like to do, thank you, is, um, <laughs> sorry. Right. That's hilarious, Connie. <laughs> the type yeah. of work we like to do is different as well. So it works out very well with us. That's why I say it's different for each and every couple. Hilario. Yeah. I like that word too. I need to write that down. Like Hilario. That. So people, well, I said this earlier in another Periscope. I don't even know. My days are so mixed up. I'm not sure if I said that today network or a different problems. day. It is. That is a network marketing problem. I never know what day it is. Like I, it's just <laughs> <laughs> all of my days seem to just be the same and just we always snow, changing and awesome. You know, we just know don't go to the grocery store on the weekend. Right. Sometimes we go and we're like, why is this so crowded? And oh, it's Saturday. You know. Anyway, I shared this the other day. There are people that ask me, you know, can, I can't believe that you like working with your husband all <laughs> the time and y'all spend all of your time together. And so what I say is either we're weird or we have a really <laughs> great marriage because he's my husband and I like him and I like spending time with him. I like working with him. And we're normal in that we still get frustrated at each other, but this has been the most fun season of our life. No doubt Absolutely. about it. We have had so much fun doing this, and it's really great to just power, you know, power it up together and work this. And I've had a really good time. Uh, someone asked, when did I come home? I came home a little bit over a year ago. It was May of 2014 is when I came home. Um, and I've really had a, a great time in this past year getting to know my kids. Um, mm -hmm. I worked so much that I didn't really know my kids that well. Um, got to rekindle my relationship with my wife and just really um, sp get to see my family and my, my parents, her parents. Connie uh, says we're weird. All, yeah, we're, I guess we are. But <laughs> I, I have really them. gotten to, to see all of ev everything that I've missed. Mm -hmm. You know, I've missed some big moments in my kids' lives. Um, and now I'm getting to experience some big moments in our kids' lives as well. So, for, like, for example, the other day she was gone. So this was kind of special for me. She was gone on a business trip. And our son learned, our youngest son learned how to ride, a, ride his bike on his own. And swim while I was gone. And I was gone for like six days. And I come back and he's riding with no training wheels, swimming across the pool. And I'm like, I've just missed all of this. But yeah. it was awesome because. So this, this season has been very special for me, probably more so for me than she knows. Um, so it's really been, this, this past year has been probably the best. So this song that we played at the beginning was the best day of our life. It's been the best year of my life so far. We're getting so sappy right now. <laughs> Sorry, don't so cry. Connie says, Connie says, how long have we been married? 11 years this, this month. month. Yes. Yeah, so sometimes our, people are like, oh, it's just the first few years. Or, oh, wait till you get three years, seven years. Anyway, 11, going strong. I really like him. I enjoy spending time with him. So that, when people ask me that or say that they wouldn't like that, I don't get it. I can't relate. So I'm sorry, but I can't relate. I think it's awesome that he's here with me all the time. So there you go. Thank, Thank you, you Miss Star Marie. Years in the network marketing and our MLM. I signed up in December of 2011. So do the math on that. Almost four years. And I did not decide to pursue the business until... July of 2013, 
So I have been officially working the business two years this month. 45, congratulations. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. So anyway, yeah, pursuing the business side intentionally for the last two years. And I can't see us doing anything you, else. Mike. I just absolutely, thanks, Mike. I, we just are having so much fun and being able to support other people in following their dreams. So I am one, when I do business topics, business talks, I talk a lot about following the dreams and building your dream and discovering your why. That's just a big passion of mine. And I really think it's true. One of my favorite quotes is realism has become the new dream because people are too afraid to reach for something and fail. So what are the dreams, the hopes, the you know, the talents, the gifts you've been given? What are all of those things that will die with you if you don't pursue them? I am so passionate about pursuing your dreams, utilizing your talents and the gifts you were given, you know, discovering your passions and and pursuing that because so many people die with that. That is why the graveyard, the cemetery, is the richest place on earth. There, just like, uh, what is the guy? Les Brown says, there is where you find unwritten books, unsung songs, you know, inventions that were never made, speeches that were never spoken. So don't let those things die with y'all. I'm getting all serious. <laughs> And up on my soapbox. And you but didn't that's, even have a topic. I know. But that's what just, it totally just makes me sad when people just accept their reality, their realism, as their new dream. So I'm still talking. Y'all are still talking about anniversaries. And I'm <laughs> off like, oh, I have a dream. Um, anyway. Con, I, thought, I, believe con, I believe it was Connie that asked what rank are we. Uh, within our company, the level that we, we have achieved is platinum right now. Mm-hmm. We're, we're actually want to be Royal Crown Diamonds. <laughs> we're really Royal Crown Diamonds in our attitude and in our mentality. <laughs> we just don't have that official title yet. Actually, no topic didn't really freak us out because so many people asked some great questions on here. Um, yeah. And we were, it was kind of easy to go, you know. Preach it. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> Pro Cristo. I like that name, too. I do. So, yeah, do you have a dream that you're pursuing do you recommend something you, uh, do you have something you recommend to help people dream? So one of my, I have books everywhere. Put your dream to the test. Screenshot this if you need to by John Maxwell. There's your mom. The Schellenberger. There's my Mimi, my mama. And so mom, I don't know if you're just joining in, but people are asking if our family members are supportive of our network marketing profession. I would love to see what your answer is because that would be interesting. So this was Put Your Dream to the Test. I think this is a fantastic book by John Maxwell. Uh, problem is, can you get your people to read the book? A lot of people won't read the book. So uh, I oftentimes do a, a thousand percent, she Just says. Just a thousand? Just a thousand, <laughs> I guess. Oh. Um, I oftentimes will try to work with somebody on discovering what their why is, and that is pretty lengthy topic right there. But um, yeah, the five book is good too. I don't know that one. What's the name of the five book? I don't know what that one is. I love adding new books to our library too, so. I'm always ordering books off Amazon. My problem is I can't focus on just one. So right now I'm reading a book well, I'm actually reading two books and I'm listening to an audio from an, like another book audio. We don't go to any of Danny Johnson's trainings. We have some very good friends of ours that do. Um, I'm actually highly interested in, in possibly looking at wanting to do something like that because um, I've heard phenomenal things about it. I would Johnson. love to go to Danny Johnson's. I just haven't yet. Lost, lost, lost momentum and has so much potential. Yeah, that's tough, but okay. So what was that? What was the leader in that leg's why? Yeah, get back to the why. Why did that person pursue it? But sometimes the leader at the, the top of a, an organization, top of the leg, may be losing momentum, and then Five all of their of leadership. Write that down. Yeah, here and then. Um, 
kind of everybody in their organization starts losing momentum. So sometimes you've got to skip over that leader. You can certainly still work with them, but sometimes I go around them and I start working with people under there and, and that can regain some momentum if you can get the fire in someone else. So, your life has purpose. Ooh, I have this quote. Your life has purpose. Screenshot this. Your life has purpose. Your story is important. Your dreams count. Your voice matters. You were born to make an impact. I believe this. Do you believe this? Heart if you believe this. I want you to heart, heart, heart away if you believe this because I truly believe this. Your life has purpose. Absolutely. If it's going above the comments, you can turn your comments on. I can't really is this better up here your life has purpose your story is important your dreams count your voice matters you were born to make an impact where will you be five years from today where is that book because <laughs> that's up here too so Hold on. the five levels of leadership just pulled it up on amazon don't know if it's got a pretty good glare on it it's a john maxwell book so probably going to be ordering it yeah here we go. Where will you be five years from today? I will definitely be RCD. But one of my dreams, you want me to share with you? One of my dreams is to go and do a speak, a speak, speaks, speaks, is to go do speeches and motivational talks to other entrepreneurs and network marketers. That's a huge goal of mine. So anyway, this book right here, uh, you can order this on Amazon, get it at Target. Where will you be five years from today? It is kind of just like a an interactive, uh, ooh, we're going to do this right now. Do you all have a pen and paper? We'll give so you a couple seconds to get a pen and paper. Get a paper. pen, because this rocks. For those of you joining, we are just doing a QA. and a If you have any question about network marketing, we'd be glad to attempt to answer it. So, ooh, that's what, have you read Start With start with why I have not y'all are giving some good books so write these down babe so we can order them oh, all right every day ma uh, start with why I think is what it was every day matters so are y'all ready for this what I want you to do is multiply your age by 365 okay Multiply your age by 365. The hearts have stopped, which I'm glad, because I want y'all to be getting out your pen and a piece of paper. Okay, and if you can't do it, at least, you know, try to remember this. So, babe, I want you to do your age. Multiply your age by 365. That will give you your current age in days. Hey, so, he is 34. Thank so you. he's going to multiply 34 by 365, and that is 12,410. That's his answer, okay? Now I want you to subtract that number by 27,375. 27,375. Did y'all get that? Okay. 27,375, that is an average lifespan these days. So what's the number you have left? That's the average of days you would have left on this earth. Shocking, shocking. Okay, so how many days left do you have approximately? Um, so if y'all didn't get that, multiply your age by 365, and then you're gonna subtract that number from 27,375. So he has approximately 15,000 days left. 15,000 days, that's it. Like what are you going to do with your life? What are you gonna do it? One more year. 8,760 days, basket case. We never know what tomorrow brings. What are you going to do with your life? Are you gonna pursue your dream? We got one shot at this life. So someone was also asking, what's the benefit of adding your spouse to your, to your account? Um, I would say the first benefit that kind of stuck out in our mind is if something happens to one of us, it saves a lot of trouble of having to go through 
uh, last will and testament or anything, it, ha- it, ha- it saves you a lot of trouble if there is a death between one of us to having to go and transfer that, that account over. It instantly, if, it, if it's both of you are on the account, it instantly just stays in that one mm-hmm. person's name. Network marketing profession is awesome because it's willable and sellable, which means that we can write in our will that that our kids get to take over our business that we have worked very hard to build. That's the coolest part about this. 8,750, Mike, are you pursuing your dream? Uh, what was that book? What book was that? This home. one? Favorite type of guerrilla marketing. I have no idea what that means. No idea. Every day, I, I love, love it, that Mike. answer, Mike. Totally I know, I know you're that. doing what you love, Mike. We just wanted to see what you were going to say. Totally love that. So for those of you who um, would like more of these periscopes, make sure you're following or, and, I shouldn't say or, I should say and, write down my name, like scroll over or scroll this way so you can see my name and YouTube that. Google it in the YouTube search or not Google it, search that in the YouTube search and you'll find lots of videos that we've done prior to Periscope and then I've also uploaded all of my Periscope. um, And yes, you can add your spouse to your account even if they're not building the business. At least in our company, you can. Within our company, you can. Now, I don't know if it is different in other companies. Right. So I want to get this out. There are any others? We're dying a slow death. It's getting lower and lower. I think it's time to go to bed, but I want to leave you with this. This was already a Periscope that I did, but it's something that I can read over and over and over again, and it motivates me every time. So are y'all ready? Are you ready to have a heart party while I'm reading this song? Reading the tap, song, tap, tap, reading the story. <laughs> An elderly man in the final days of his life is lying in bed alone. He awakens to see a large group of people clustered around his bed. This is in this book right here. Their faces are loving but sad. Confused, the old man smiles weakly and whispers, You must be my childhood friend. Come say goodbye. I am so grateful. Moving closer, the tallest figure gently grasps the old man's hand and replies, Yes. We are your best and oldest friends, but long ago you abandoned us, for we are the unfilled promises of your youth. We are the unrealized hopes, dreams, and plans that you once felt deeply in your heart but never pursued. We are the unique talents that you never refined, the special gifts that you never discovered. Old friend, we have not come to comfort you but to die with you. Here's something that I want to say to you. I never dreamt that I would be a network marketer. That is not my dream. As surprising as that is, to be a network marketer is not my dream. However, it is the vehicle that has allowed us to attain and continue to pursue other dreams. Do y'all get that? Network marketing does not have to be your dream, but network marketing provides financial freedom and time freedom, which can allow you to pretty much achieve any dream. So that's what I think is so cool about this. It's the vehicle to our dream. So mm-hmm. if, if you have a dream bigger than this, continue. Continue. Can you do a scope at some point? No, I cannot, <laughs> James. I, I wish I could. That would but be our tax guy. I am not good with taxes and all that rigmarole. Maybe we could have a guest on and we could do a talk about that because here's the thing. You don't want us to teach you about it because we'd probably give you all of the wrong information. <laughs> that is not my strong suit. No, that's why we have a tax person that, yeah. that does it for us. Yeah. Um, so someone asked, what are our other dreams? Her dream is to speak to other network marketers and kind of motivate and inspire people. Our dream, our big why is we homeschool and we really like – The idea and how we've already started doing this is doing traveling homeschool so we can get our kids to experience other cultures and teach them with hands-on, you know, just with traveling. And then the other thing is we really want to fund adoption. So it's been a very awesome treat from going from can we pay our bills a few years ago um, to now it's just that we get to give anonymously to Uh, families who are in the process of adoption and so that's been something that's huge on our hearts and it's been just one of our whys so yeah it's it's as strange as it is i mean it costs more to adopt a child than have your own 
Mm, it's crazy. Crazy. Yeah. So, so we want to make who, a people difference. People who can't have children have to pay more money than people who can have children. Which or is, people that can have yeah. children, but they have a heart for adoption. I mean, it's ridiculous yeah. how much it costs for them. So we just really like to be a part of that and help others out in that way, which is great. Financial freedom in order for us to be able to do that. So I have so enjoyed talking with you. I'm sure he has enjoyed talking to you. Absolutely. Like I said, my name's Alana. This is Dustin. We would love for you to follow us and share with your teams. We do these talks all the time. Uh, Absolutely love encouraging and inspiring other people about our homeschooling journey. Maybe on maybe on Dustin's parents. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good story right there. Uh, that was a hard story for us. But so, ultimately, believe it or not, believe it or not, I'll give you a brief detail on our homeschool journey. Our homeschool journey led us to network marketing. It really did. As weird as that as is. As weird as it is. It totally did. Yeah. And with homeschooling, again, total time freedom. So that just works well with network marketers because we can go on vacation together whenever we want. We're not accountable to a boss and we're not accountable to a school. So it just really works well. Yeah. But okay, y'all have a great, great night. Well, hold on. I'm going to go in what? there and... Uh... Tell them to follow me. Okay. So they can He's going to post. And if you are interested in family, if you are interested in fun or in fitness, those are the periscopes my husband is passionate about. So he is posting right now. Follow me. And his color is green. So go ahead and click on him if you would like some fun, some family, and some fitness. And y'all have a blessed night. Pursue your dreams. Don't let them die with you. Bye, everybody. Bye.